Hello, in this video, I want to show you how to upgrade this CCF Elo touchscreen, 15 inch Elo touchscreen from CCFL to our UB54 series LED kit. Uh, this model is Elo touch models ET1529L, which is listed here. ET, again, ET1529L. The LG strip uh, kit comes with two LG strip, one LG drivers, and one wire adapter. One end connects to here, the other end accepting the existing inverter wire harness and two of uh, aluminum foil. So let's set that aside first. The LED kit, I already, uh, to save time, I remove most of the screws. I just take it out like this, you know, the back cover. So set that aside. <coughs> All right. So, um, you know, this is a whole bunch of screw, I already remove it, just back cover, to pop it off, see this, alright, and you just disconnect this touch screen wire harness first, and there's a few screw holding the whole chassis, when you remove it, you take it out, and then you just set the touch screen aside, see this, alright, so let's set it aside, <coughs> yeah, now, you see this is an inverter, Power supply, controller board, you flip over, see, this is the screen. So in order to remove the screen, the screen was holding uh, at four screws, one, two on each side, right here, I already remove it on each side. So uh, first you have to remove the screw first. After you remove the screw, and then uh, the next thing is that you need to remove this um, CCFL wire harness that connects to a LC screen and you just kind of slowly tilt it up because inside there's a ribbon cable that connects to the screen so you're gonna like push this end a little bit okay the screen come off then let me show you this way angle is better so you see that the wire you just get your hand in between and if there's a tape you just remove tape and just pull out Okay, now here's the chassis. Uh, we, we need to set that aside. Okay, now you look at the screen here. This is the screen. The screen's made by AUO. Uh, the part number is M150XN07 version 2. Okay, so next section we're gonna show you how to upgrade this um, screen from uh, CCFL to the LED kits. Now you see I'm wearing the glove because uh, we had to disassemble the whole thing on this um, AUO M150XN07 this uh, uh, LC screen. First we had to remove this um, metal cover first and then we had to remove all this. We just tip, set it on this tape. We can reuse it, you know. And uh, okay, there's three screws holding this metal cover which is holding uh, a uh, covering a uh, interface modules okay three screws okay we take it out okay now you see the modules right next thing is that we're gonna be remove this uh, let's remove this cable too okay you can reuse it and we had to remove this metal film so just again using a screw, uh, screwdriver, just one end at a time, just one end at a time, one side at a time, and then until four side comes out, you get your hand in behind, you see this, hold the liquid glass together, now the metal frame is out. So you lay on the cardboard, you just flip this over, slowly, just pull this back assembly out. Now you know why I'm using cardboard, right? Perfect. Okay. So, just uh, set aside the liquid glass. Now this is uh, the film. Um, I mean the back cover with the plastic film. We had to uh, take this plastic film out and to access the backlight. So first, we're gonna take the wires out for us here. Okay. Okay, when you take out the wire, you see there's two small screws, you need to remove it. The Phillips screw, which is holding between the black aluminum plate 
to front a plastic film. So we just take it out. All right, one, two. clean it later okay all right so we gotta take out the plastic one side time you see this just click like this just open yeah there we go okay okay now we do this side And then we like to do this side. Like right here, okay. okay. All right. You move the wire. That's on the way. Now. It's out. Okay, we set that side. Okay, what we do is uh, you can leave it the, you can either take out the, a uh, this diffusion shirt or you, it's up to you. But I think usually I will take it out and uh, get the whole stack on top of the liquid glass. And then you see all these lights, right? You just pull the, hold the wire, pull it out like this, take it out, take it out. You can leave the proxy glass here. Okay, now. Here's our, let me see, this our 54 series, you know, and uh, let's make sure. it's not going to fit inside, so the only way to mount it would be, we, we cannot use this again, reflector, forget it, we are going to mount it right here, the aluminum plate, and if you look at, like this, okay, if you look at this, film which is perfect because this plastic is outside you see that outside of a uh, right here outside of the uh, aluminum film so that's perfect we can directly mount here and use the whole aluminum plate as a heat sink so before we do that mount back we're gonna test it see how it works it, uh, see all the LED make sure the LED lights up correctly okay so Perfect. Okay. Ready to be installed.